Hey guys, welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. I have a hiccup. Because I have a hiccup. So let's wait for this hiccup to pass. And in the last episode, we began the sixth dungeon, the um, fire sanctuary. And in this episode, we're going to continue navigating because we completed a little chunk of the dungeon. So let's continue seeing what else there is for us. First of all, 15 rupees. Over here, that fire choo choo. And we've got another one of these little fire walls blocking our path. And the same mechanic that we had to do to get in here. Now, to do this room, or we're kind of outside, so I don't really know how to explain this as a room, but in here, this area, what we're going to want to do is first we're going to want to get a ton of rupees right here. We're going to want to be careful because these green things apparently can hurt us. I didn't kind of, I didn't really remember that they could hurt us. But if we could get some hearts, please, that would be nice. A fairy? No, please let me get a fairy. Good, now we've got two fairies for this dungeon in case I die, which I feel like I might die. I don't have any... I'm running low on the hearts, and this is just going to be rupees. I would like some hearts to restore my health. That would be cool, but if we go through right here and not get hurt along the way, I'm gonna get some more of these uh, weird plant things that drop off water. We're gonna get something that gives us just a rupee when I don't need a rupee. Um... What we're going to want to do in this here, let's get rid of let's get rid of this thing over here, and let's get this treasure, which is probably just some kind of nothing kind of treasure, honestly. Yeah, that's what I was assuming. Just gonna be a little monster horn. So let's just collect a little monster horn, and we've got one of them, so I guess that's kind of helpful. Um, what we want to do first of all is we want to get out our sword, and we want to stab right there, turn around, and throw this water thing, this little water fruit, at this frog structure, and we'll be good to go. Now I wanna see if there's something beyond over here, because it looks like there is, but I may just be mistaken again. So, we can continue and head on over here, where we've got these guys, and these guys, and this guy to deal with. So, hello all you enemies that just got destroyed. So, goodbye all enemies that just got destroyed. Okay, here another enemy, or I'm probably just hearing things. And how come none of these things are giving me hearts? Does this game not understand that I need some hearts? Am I not carrying around... I'm carrying around a heart medal. Could I please get some hearts? That'd be super nice. And I just realized I'm also carrying around a quiver, and I guess a quiver would be nice to carry around by this portion of the game. You know, because we have so many things that involve arrows to shoot at, especially the whole scrapper thing. Um, that'd be good. Anyway, right here, we've got a little bit of a, kind of a little mid-boss right here. If I can get on top of this thing... Nope, 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 okay. What we want to do is we want to stand on top of one of these things, just like we did before, and we want to come over here to where these fruit are at, because what we want to do is we, with these fruit, we want to toss it at one of them, and by tossing at one of them, it'll harden it to where we can crack it. Whoa, 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 And by, by doing that, you know what? You're just gonna have to probably just kill me in a second. Because this isn't going well. But how about you just lift me up on one of these platforms. I pick up this fruit. I turn around. I explain what we have to do. We throw the fruit at the thing. The lava hardens. We slash away at our sword. That will lower the lava in that room, thus lowering the lava. 
in that room where we saw that guy in the last episode just hanging out there. Hey, I was watching you, pal. You really sucked to do those lava fingers. Amazing stuff. And if you don't mind doing one more thing while you're at it, how about you get me down from here? You know what? No, I don't want to use one of my fairies. I want to wait until I die, then it'll bring me back to health. Or if I can get some hearts somewhere. Thank you, hearts. But I still need a little bit more than that. Anyway, we'll be back in this room over here. Where we saw... Uh, where is he? This guy right here. So let's actually pull down this switch. Lowering the lever. I almost said level. Lowering the lever. And bringing this guy down. I'm saved. I don't know who you are or where you or where you're from. Are you here looking for the treasure too? Uh, I'm looking here for a flame. Possibly it's the same treasure. Well, well, no point in trying to hide it. There's only one reason you would have you would have for coming so far in here. I can see it on your face. You're here because of the legend of the sleeping statue. Ah, there's that sleeping statue that we heard about in the last episode. I think I'm gonna give you a replacement for my secret stash. Don't go nowhere. Oh, that's so nice. Anyway, I believe what we're gonna get here. They've been buried in buried. They've been in a buried treasure chest, so they ain't dirty or nothing. I believe right here what we're going to get is none other. Then the dungeon item, the magma mitts. These are way better than the digging mitts, and believe it or not, these will actually help us dig underground, which is another feature in this dungeon that we'll be doing. So, if we come over here, and first, that's it, I get one heart, I get one heart. That's it, I need like more hearts than that. Come on, game, give me some more hearts. Oh, this is gonna be where we're actually going to burrow, and digging under here and shaking the Wii remote we'll be able to go through these break through these rocks how are these mitts treating you? if you want to get a good look above ground by pressing Z got it? press Z to see you above ground and by doing that we can actually see where we're actually going but let's do this kick that bomb over there step back a bit and before I go that way, I'm gonna get some rupees over here, so let's just go through here. So this is way better than than things that we were crawling through before. I need some hearts, because this sound is going to get annoying, and it's going to get annoying fast for me during editing, and for me during filming, and for you guys listening to the sound. So game, if you want to give me some hearts, that would be nice. I don't want to waste my fairies right now um let's dig hearts please heart no heart stop giving me money you'll give me one heart in all of that well alrighty then um let's pull out our gust bellows which i just realized were already pulled out and let's blow on these things and this one behind here there's another one Right there. Now, um, hearts, please. Heart. Heart. I'm carrying. I'm carrying the heart medal with me. Shouldn't I be getting some hearts? Anyway, can't go through there. So let's actually burrow under the ground right here. It'll either say dig or it'll say burrow for us, telling us what to do. Now here we're going to have these switches. By pressing these switches, it will move. You see how this bottom gate right here matches with this top one? And when we do this... It will now move that gate for us, making life easier. So let's crawl back up here to the top. Don't understand how that technically works. But now we can go through here. You know what? I want to save. Just on the off chance that I die somewhere along the way. I've got fairies, but just in case I'd like truly, really badly die. 
So let's turn around and go through this new open area and while I try to figure out where I'm actually going. Okay, let's go out through here. I believe this takes us back outside. Yes, it does. But before heading outside, let's go this way. Because I believe this is the portion where I will be backtracking. Yes, it is. If we click the switch right here, it will open up an area. We saw the switch, I believe, in the last episode right here where we fought Dark Lizalfos. Um, so let's actually go back a little bit now that we have these digging mitts. Well, actually, no. These, these are magma mitts. Um, and what we're going to want to do is come right here because this was an area that we could burrow. I wanted... I, said that we wanted to make note of this area, so let's go th this way. Oh, I just realized that, that that beeping heart sound is finally out of the way. Okay, let's go over here, and we want to press this switch, because in opening this switch, it will unlock... Oh, I'm pressing Z, but nothing's happening. Can't see above ground here. That's weird. Why can't I see above ground? Huh. You lied to me. I said I could look above ground, but I can't. Anyway, turn around. And this area will now be open to us. And down here, at the end of this area, is some of these fruits. And with these fruits, we will now be able to backtrack just a little bit more in this area where we saw this original guy right here, and I didn't mention it, but the en the name of this enemy is a Mogmonos, like Magmonos, like magma and monos, Spanish for hands. So we're just gonna do the same thing that we did the last time fighting this these enemies, and of course I did it wrong. So let's get back up here. So just come over here, Mr. Enemy, and carry me back up here, and let's go back down to where we were. Okay, now we're going to have to do just a bit more kind of backtracking. This is a completely optional. You don't even have to do this. You don't have to do this if you don't want to do this. I wonder if I can, like, claw shot my way over there. Like, make my life just a bit easier. I wonder if I can do that. If I can. Yes, I can. Okay, good. Um, like I said, this is completely optional. You don't have to do this, but I recommend doing this for something in a bit. So let's just actually do this the right way. So over here, let's pull out another one of these fruits. Carry it with us. And let's actually fight this guy the right way and actually toss it at him, so... Perfect. And then once we do that... We'll destroy him, and this lava area will sink down even lower. And over here... In this area that we could not access before because it was filled with lava will lead us to our prize. And right here, if I can open it, this will give us empty bottle number four. And I believe that is the uh, fourth and final bottle of the Zelda game and I, of Skyward Sword. And I believe this is the only Zelda game that has four uh, empty bottles, I believe. I think it's the only one that does that. I believe other ones have, like, maybe six. I'm not actually sure, but now to get out of here, we're gonna head over here. So this was, like I said, completely optional. You did not have to do this at all, but I wanted to show it off because it's something something worth showing, obviously. Oops, going the wrong way. Now to get back over there is how. Ah, back through over here because we opened up 
gate over here. So getting empty bottle number four is completely optional, and I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. But now let's head. Um, is this where we... No, we want to go out this way. Actually, no, 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 no. What we want to do, I believe, is with our claw shots, and we can actually... No? Wait, no, because this will just take us back around. We want to actually go out of here, so... We're going to have to backtrack. Just Now we have to go forward through a portion of the dungeon that we already went through, but not so much, because... The switch over here is open for us. And can I get some hearts, please? Yes, thank you. And the sound. And... Can I get some more? Nope. 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 Okay, fine. Whatever. Anyway, let's go back over here and continue going through the rest of this dungeon now.